Hello, Elisa here. Today I'm going to show you how to find a niche in under 10 minutes. So I'm going to start by typing in a relatively broad search term. If you're having trouble figuring out what you want to search for, you can use the brainstorm or the hot trends features. Okay, what I'm first going to do just to get organized is come over here and sort by local search count. First thing I'm going to do is filter my results. I'm going to click the easy filter which is going to check everything over a thousand local search count. It's also going to hide the rest of the results just for a cleaner workstation. Next I'm going to queue up domain availability Okay, so it's brought back quite a few available domains. What I'm going to do next is filter again. This time I'm going to create my own filter and filter all the results by domain availability. It's going to uncheck all the ones that have no domains and recheck the ones that have domains. So again, just for organization, I'm going to hide all the unchecked results. Next what I'm going to do is get exact phrase count. As well as SOC. So once again I'm going to filter my results this time by any SOC that is green. And then I'm going to hide unchecked. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is check SOC. As well as MOB. So I've gotten back all my MOB and most of my OCI, so we'll forge ahead for now. And what these numbers mean is, this does not mean that there's zero backlinks. So we're going to click this number, and it can show you all the top 10 results in Google. So it looks like the very first one has 16 backlinks, and so far down the line. The reason why these are highlighted is because we take the median number of all the backlinks, and that's the number that we give you. If you'd like to explore it further, you can either click this link which will open the actual website or you can click the back number link which will open you up to Yahoo Site Explorer. You can then see where all the links come from and explore them even further if you'd like. You can also of course click the link all the way down here to see the Google results. Okay, so all these MOB numbers do actually look good. Um, how to season a walk is a little high, but on average we recommend to keep it under 20. This can also change depending on how comfortable you are backlinking. So let's go through some of these and take a look. Um, this keyword here looks like a brand name. We do not suggest buying a domain with a brand name in it simply because the company can actually demand that you take the website down since they own the rights to the name. Now, if you're looking at your keywords and you aren't exactly sure if it's a brand name or not, click the keyword and you can do um, a Google search. And it'll bring up Google for you right here. And you can see whether or not it's a certain brand. Um, and it's pretty obvious here since they have multiple products all under one name. So since that is a brand, I'm just going to uncheck that. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what the walk shop is. This might just be a store. Yep, 
yes, it actually looks like a local store for San Francisco, so we're just going to uncheck that as well. And as for this keyword right here, um, it appears to be more of an informational niche instead of a product niche. And what that means is that people are going to be searching this term. And simply what that means is people are going to be looking at your website for information. It usually means they're not going to be clicking your ads compared to people who are actually looking for a walk to buy. So we're going to uncheck this as well. So the rest of the niches look good, so we can add them to our domain list. Um, you can do that by clicking this button here. Or if you'd like to add a bunch at once, come up to more actions, view available domains, and this will show you all the domains on your page that's available. Hold down the control key and you can also select multiple domains. And then click add selected domains to my domain list. After that, here they are, ready to go.